Mercy back here with another video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mercy back here with another video. Now, I don't know the full details or the full story behind this. You know, it hasn't even been released on big store, big um, platforms like Grime Daily or Link Up TV. But this is what Chip tweeted. Like, he's obviously annoyed at someone. It's no more about Bugsy. This is what Chip tweeted yesterday. Hey, kids. <laughs> I'm joking. Said, so, hey kids, I'm gonna tell you, don't effing sign up to none of these big management companies. I hope they're all burn in hell. Just work with your best friends that really care about your well being. These people don't love you, just a cash cow to them. Revenge is a must. Agents feed dead. I think that's a Jamaican um, twist on it. Agents feed dead. You know what I mean? So obviously, Chip has been played somehow. We, uh, we don't know, okay? But I want to link a story to this that is true, okay? Guys, this is like a life story to you, okay? Just because a big agent or big company or big person comes and say, hey, we can help your product, doesn't mean you have to work with them. A big example would be Hood Documentary. That is the massive, massive example. By himself, with his friends, with his with his co worker worker, with his man, them hood documentary, hood documentary one, hook him, hood documentary two, the twenty minutes one, were absolutely outstanding. You know, when it hits, when it hit the streets, when it hit that, everyone was quoting Roll Safe's line. Everyone was quoting them. Oh, do you Roll Safe said? Oh, do you Roll Safe said? But then a big management company came to him, being who? BBC came to him and said, Hey, we will help you make. It will help you do. We'll give you a bigger platform to perform, and it's true. BBC has used um, the whole documentary as a cash cow, which is a, is what a, a word that thing used there. They use them as a cash cow. How you how you say it? by making episodes weekly and short. Like every episode is like seven or six minutes long, and it's made weekly. Why to stretch it out so they can make more money per video? You know, let's say you make one one thirty minute video, which gets like let's say uh, let make make it simple, a hundred views, okay? So one thirty minute video gets a hundred views, okay? But then they're releasing six seven minutes long consecutively. But let's say seven videos long consecutively that will each get 100 views, 100 views, 100 views, 100 views. So the 30, the 30 minutes one will get 100 views, while the long stretch that one will get 700 views, okay? So that's how they're using him as a cash cow. Of, of, of course, they play they pay him his, his cut, but because it's on BBC's channel, BBC has taken a fantastic cut of the money that's made from hood documentaries thing. But I know I know there's some grammologists, so please, grammologists, go to work and... Tell me why I don't know why Chip is like this, you know. Obviously, someone must have, an agent must have scammed it, and you know what? Yeah, this is me. This is the book for me. But if when I become famous, if I become famous, I don't know whatever. Yeah, I don't want an agent. I don't know if if that's even possible. I don't know if that's that if anyone does that. But the 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 the, the cuts that agents will make you. Have, Take is apps that the agents will take off you is absolutely crazy. Some of them are taking like 40 60 percent of what you that you do all the work, but then because they like they talk to the big guys themselves, they take like a 70 60 percent cut of what you earn. You know, what I mean, so I figure if I ever got big and if a company wants to speak to me, come and speak to me one on one, like mercy, come to me email me not go through someone else that take a 60 percent cut and then and then usually what the agents give you is usually so you can sell out you know what i mean because agents want to make money as well and what they'll do instead of making you follow your heart and what you want to achieve as as a artist or as a person they'll make you sell out completely you know what i mean so let's say you make rap music your grime star your grimy grimy guy but then your agent says no no more grime do pop music do do country music that's you selling out but so your agent and you can make more money, basically using it as a cash cow. That's how it's made, you know what I mean? So agents are not always the best thing. But I want my grime, those grimeologists go to work, those PhD at Grimeology with that who who are taught by lecturer, DJ Dizzy Rascal and lecturer gigs and everyone. Tell me, tell me. What go on? What made Chip angry? I don't know. But I think obviously it's clear that someone scammed him being an agent. Maybe an agent took a heavy cut. Of because you know Chip always do is always doing tours and like tours after tour after tour. Make it, maybe he did a tour at a, an event or a venue or whatever, and then the agent took like eighty percent off and then gave Chip twenty, and that Chip thought it was fine until he actually noticed that hey, you took eighty percent, I took twenty percent. You actually rinsed me of what I should actually be earning. You know what I mean? But let's back on the video. Hood, I mean grandma just go to work. What's happening with Chip? What happened with Chip? Chip, they Chip. Has he run out of bars? Anyway, let's back in the video. Agents be dead. Peace.